Hello and welcome to our new series on how to create a multilingual content management system. On the front end, what we're going to have, we're going to have a drop down menu with a list of languages. You will be able to add them uh, later on through the control panel. So if we change the language, you can see that the image changes as well as all of the items, including navigation, titles, content, and so on. Uh, if we change it back to English, let's say, uh, you can see we have about us, testimonials, contact us, services, and so on. All these pages you will be able to basically add at any time you want. You can generate unlimited number of pages, remove them, edit the content, and so on. Let's click on the services. As you can see, the active navigation appears in the main navigation as well as in the left one. You will have three types of navigation, which is the main one, left one, plus in the footer. If we click on testimonials, for instance, right now, we have testimonials navigation, navigation highlighted here, and as you can see, in the footer as well. Uh, apart from this, we will also have a contact us page with the contact form, which will be submitted using Ajax and SMTP uh, method. The control panel will also have the navigation with the different languages. So if you, let's say, would prefer to have the interface in German, then everything changes to German again. If you want to have it in Spanish, again, the same situation and any other language that you might have in this drop down menu. So now let's log in and see what we have here. We will have the section for the pages where you have a list of pages. You can edit each page, including its meta title, meta description, meta keywords, and the URL name, which is basically the identity which is displayed later on in the URLs. As you may uh, have already realized, obviously our URLs are static, all of them, even though it's obviously a PHP application. If we go back to the uh, control panel, you can see we are using uh, WYSIWYG editor, uh, which is the CK editor, together with the PDW file browser. If you go on a browse server, you can see we are using PDW file browser. It's all going to be explained during this, uh, this series, obviously how to implement this, uh, add it all together and so on. So if you go back to the pages section, we'll have option to remove the page. Some of the pages won't be removable and you will define which pages you want to uh, not be uh, for, for the administration to not be able to remove. These will be obviously the home page, page not found, and contact us, which are the standard pages which, which each system should basically have. Now, if we go to add new page, the page looks exactly the same way as the, as the edit one. If we go to the navigation, you can see we can assign uh, different types of uh, different pages to different uh, navigations. If we, let's say, want to assign another page to the left navigation, I'm going to select this from the drop down menu. I want about us to be in a uh, left navigation now you can see record has been added successfully now page has reloaded and the record has been added to the left navigation now to rearrange order of the pages simply click and drag and you can see that is automatically updating if we go to the front end now about us should be on the last position if i refresh the page you can see about us here is now last now going back uh, let's have a look at the languages section we will have a list of labels so if you want to update any of the uh, labels actually used on the system let's say go to chinese you can see all of these are in a specific language the default language will display on the left so that you can recognize which uh, label it is uh, and obviously update all these uh, values accordingly by simply clicking on the update button uh, then we have i'm just going to change it to uh, english here then we have list of languages. So if you want to add another language, you can simply do it. Let's say we're going to add Russian. Click on add. And now we have Russian added to the list of languages. If we check the drop down menu, it's been here. And obviously the only thing you need to do now, if you go to the Russian, you will have to update all of these labels and so and pages obviously to create the versions uh, in this specific language. Now, if we check the types, we also have different types because we have confirmation labels, we have images, images labels, warnings labels, and standard labels. So obviously you can uh, uh, edit these as well as add to the list. Then we have the admin section. Admin section is basically the list of administrators who have access to the system. You can edit the administrator, obviously, by assigning the administrator or user access. Users will not have access to the languages and admin section. The administrator has access to all of the sections of the content management system. So that's everything in a nutshell. Let's move to the next section and start building the system.